Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Crafty Kim 62 here and this is just the ingredients part for a swap that we're having for the whole month of June which is going to be steampunk on my craft group on Facebook Simply Craft and Swap and it is going to be a version of a top hat and I'm going to do a double top hat but I just thought I would show you what I would be using and um, rather than using a template. So while we were out one day um, for a cup of coffee and toast with husband and um, you know along the counters you have your soft drinks so um, I grabbed a couple of the fresh ones unused so I thought that was the right shape for the start of it and then I had an old sellotape reel sticky tape reel and um, these are the types of things that I keep for templates so I cut two of the templates out of that size so I've got two of those and then I used a larger size for this and um, so I cut two of those as well so that's my bases for my hat and then I cut this hat, one of these, off at a jaunty angle. If you can see that, I did that as a jaunty angle. And that is um, going down on a downward slope. So I'll just put those to one side. I'm going to make a couple more. And then um, a basic kitchen roll, toilet roll. And again, can you see I've cut that off at an angle too. So that's at a nice angle ready and so we're going to build it up that's the base that's the top that's the hat and that's the top again so can you see how that's built up I'll just move it along slightly. I'm just going to play around with it because I think I had that so I could do things with it on the bottom. And I think I'm going to raise it up again. So I'll just put that one on there. And I think I'm going to have a little raised bit there too. So you can see that it is on a jaunty angle. And actually I'm going to do that the opposite way, over to one side, so it's even more of a jaunty angle. So when it's all complete, it'll look rather funky. And this, as I say, is steampunk. So one side glued it all together and painted it. Add some decorative papers, lace in the steampunk theme and then add things like um, these little clocks little, little see-through clocks I've been collecting lots of bits so I'll just show you a couple of the bits so there's lots of cogs and things and the very kind Rebecca Young sent me all of these from her um, silhouette machine that she has and um, see what else I've been collecting. Oh, no, these are sort of good checks. What I normally do is, um, when I know that I'm going to be doing a couple of things, I have um, a container of various things. So as I see something as I go along my stash that I know is going to be useful, then um, I pick it up. That is just something. Um, this is, I have to actually open these, but these... Um, some cog clock type things that I just got off Amazon. I've never used Amazon before but I was quite um, taken with it so I think I'll be using Amazon again and they're all various sizes, various shapes and they're a nice um, copper brass, well actually they're a copper tone and they'll go quite nicely with the theme. And also in the works, I picked up these um, glass bottles, and the six for a pound. 
and they've got the little cork topper so they'll be perfect to pop something in and to add to the steampunk theme so these can go at various places on the hat so that is um, the basic shape but because I'll be sending this away um, I'm going to be using um, animal toy, well not animal, but toy stuffing so this is going to be um, inside the the hat because obviously it's hollow so I'm going to stuff that with the filling and also stuff, stuff the top one with the stuffing so it doesn't get jam damaged in transit and this is a huge bag, it may only look little but this was just um, £2 from a new shop that we have in Sunderland called Tiger so if you have one of these opening up in your your area, it'll be worth a trip going in because they have a few crafty things. Um, it's what my husband would call a tat shop, and um, but we crafty ladies will um, find lots of different things in there that we can use. This is um, the original hat that I made. I made this a little time ago and um, it is, I don't know whether you can see it properly, it's got feathers on, it's of a smaller size, it's only, um, this was from a paper template, but I thought we would use, it would be easier if we just use things that we could find, and then I just decorated it in bling, added some flowers, and it did have some stick pins in, but I've utilised those in another swap that I did. Um, but this is the one that I made, and it was just a challenge. It wasn't a send-off to anybody, um, but I knew that I could improve on the original one that I did. So thank you very much, ladies, for watching. And this is part one of the Steampunk Double Tier Hat. Many thanks for watching. Bye-bye.